What's going on everyone, Ilu Games here back with another video. In this video, we are gonna go over a few topics about Apex Legends, but the biggest one is gonna be a respawn developer asking about making Apex pay to play and you won't believe what the community voted. But before we jump into that, I got another deal for you guys. We still are getting about 70% of the viewers are not subscribed on each video. So for this video, I won't read an ad in the video in exchange for you hitting that sub button, turning the notifications on, and if you're already sub, hitting that like button and to spice it up if we get over 10,000 likes I'll do another giveaway of $100 or 10,000 apex coins for one of the YouTube subs only here's a winner from last time and if you're a subscriber with your notification set to all you will see on your timeline how to enter the giveaway for the $100 all right let's jump into it yesterday Ryan Rigney director of communication at respawn tweeted out the following CSGO is now charging for access to ranked among other things I imagine this would make it much more costly for cheaters who get banned to make a new account and continue cheating the system. What do you think? Is charging for ranked a good idea or a bad idea? Then he replied with another poll. Alternatively, what if buying one battle pass got you access to ranked forever? Now, before we dive into what this would mean for the community, let's take a look at exactly what CSGO is doing. So CSGO has something called Prime Status, which you would get by reaching level 21 and linking a phone number to your account. You would then get access to prime matchmaking. You would now can't earn ranks, XP drops, or skill groups unless you have prime status. It does appear that if you already have prime status, you'll be keeping it, but the cost to get access to this prime matchmaking is $15. And if you don't want to pay the 15, that's fine. You will be put into an unranked system when you queue up for competitive games. CSGO's reasoning for this change is the following. CSGO went free to play over three years ago and is still going strong. We see new players entering CSGO all the time and it's important as ever that anyone in the world can pick up and play the game for free. Along with all the gameplay that we made available for free, new players had access to drops, ranks, skill groups, and free path to prime matchmaking. Unfortunately, over time, those benefits have become an incentive for bad actors to hurt the experience of both new and existing players. So today we're revising the offering for new players. So what would that look like for Apex Legends? Well, basically the idea here is that you would have to pay a fee or perhaps even just have purchased a battle pass once to gain access to even enabling the ranked system. If Apex did go forward with this, I do not believe they would have ranked ladder enable for those who did not pay. I think ranked would only be accessible at all for people who did pay. Now, what is the point of this? Well, the point is making it more difficult for hackers to get into those games with a lot of people trying to play very serious and therefore prevent them from ruining their playing experience. So as someone who doesn't grind ranked a lot, I get reset to platinum at split and just grind to masters and I pretty much stop playing once I hit masters, which doesn't take too long. I do not run into hackers often, even though I'm on PC. So I may not be the best person to answer this. However, I was able to ask some friends what they thought, and I'll show you those clips here in a second. I actually want you guys to go to the poll after you watch this video and give Ryan your feedback. Let your voice be heard and comment below. But the only issue I can see is the barrier of entry being too high for lower income players or players that are too young to be able to purchase a battle pass in the first place. I've seen replies by grown men in thread saying, well, they just need to go get a job and get some money if they want to play seriously. I mean, that's always the easiest answer for everyone, but sometimes it's not possible for a 13 year old that likes to play Apex to just go and get a job. My other concern is I don't want it to hurt the player base and the queue times. However, I do think it is actually the right way to go. anti cheats will never be on par with what cheaters can do. It's just an impossible task, but manual reviews and measures like this help more than you know. And a big factor a lot of people are missing in this is that the cheaters will also have to give their personal information to purchase the battle pass. And of course there are ways to work around that, but at what point does it become no longer worth it? If I had to guess, this would almost completely stop the cheaters from getting the pred lobbies. The amount of time you can cause chaos versus the amount of time it would cost you to get into Apex just isn't worth it. To try to counter some of the arguments people will present, let me show you some of the replies Ryan left for people. I actually tweeted out the following. I actually really like this idea, but do feel bad for those who genuinely may not be able to afford or be old enough to purchase a battle pass. 2FA, which is two-factor authentication where you use your phone number, seems like perhaps a smaller slash better step to start. It's a hard one, to be honest. To which Ryan replied, barriers for young or low income are a good call out for sure. We've looked into 2FA as a ranked requirement and are convinced it's too easy to spoof. 
Virtual phone numbers, easy to get by the load. Dexerto's account tweeted the following. Could a time barrier work instead as a less punishing alternative? Example, you have to play plus complete 25 pub matches before you can access ranked. At least this makes it a long process for a band player to start a new account and play ranked. Now let me chime in there for a second. You already have to get to level 10 to play ranked. That's kind of out the window there, but Ryan replied the following. The issue with time slash level requirements is that it can encourage AFK grinding and or bots. No Cocoa Puffs tweeted the following. I think this could be a good idea, but obviously for people who can't genuinely afford it, it would suck. But I'm almost scared it wouldn't deter hackers. Like, wouldn't a hacker just bypass the system to not pay? So it would hurt a lot more than do good. To which Ryan flat out ignored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, nah, he, he obviously can't reply to everything, but that was a comment worth sharing. Everyone's favorite dev, Daniel Klein, tweeted the following. Wonder if it could be a thing where access to rank either costs real money or a shit ton of earned currency. So people who genuinely can't or don't want to afford real money buy-in can at least grind for it. Would still be a real obstacle to cheaters. It's kind of odd to see him reply that after Ryan already said that the grinding thing is not a good option. But it is uh, something that should be discussed. Let's see what the rank grinders had to say when I asked them about it. Here's brother Enoch, currently a top pred on PC and world famous TikToker addressing it. And surprisingly enough, I actually think that this is a really good idea to help with the cheating situation. Because because right now, what happens is cheaters will hop on like fresh accounts, literally bronze. They don't have to do anything and they'll just hop on those and then they'll just start queuing into predator lobbies uh, with cheats on and just start hacking on people. And, and when those accounts get banned, right? It doesn't matter because all the cheaters have to do is they just have to hop onto a new account. But if you make it so that you have to pay money for an account to play ranked, then when you do it like that, if an account gets banned and say like the cheater has to pay like $10, $15, it makes it so that the cheater ends up having to spend significantly more money if they want to like play in rank lobbies in grief ranked games. So I actually, if you would ask me when I was younger, if I ever thought it would be a good idea to pay, to make it so you have to pay for ranked, I would have always, I feel like I would have always said no. But like having experience for a while of playing ranked in a very high level in this game, I do think, and I think that you can have in-game rewards for that $10. And I think it would be really good. For ranked, like if, if the devs wanted to charge for ranked and things like that, I think it could be a good system. However, hackers are gonna do what hackers do, right? Like hackers are, hackers are gonna do what hackers do best and they're gonna hack the system. The whole point is if you put blocks the whole point of hacking is people getting around those blocks. So I feel like it would, it could hurt the the genuine people that play this game, and 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 kind of do more harm than good. Um, the devs would have to come out with a system that is entirely 100% foolproof if they're ever going to implement something like that. Like there ha there can't be any hiccups in the system. Like if they're going to implement like a charge system to play rank, there needs to absolutely be a like, yeah, like I said, foolproof. Um, the, like, the, the devs probably have more of a of an insight about this um, than we do. But, like, theoretically speaking, how many people have not paid an actual dollar towards this game? It'll probably be... It, the people who have paid money will probably be much higher than people who haven't played money. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it could hurt the player base, for sure. It could definitely hurt the player base. But it also would force a lot of money into the system as well. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people have put money into this game. And, and, and theoretically speaking, like, nowadays, like, $10, like, you'll spend $10 at the fucking corner store buying chocolate. You know what I mean? Like, in all reality. So there you have it. There's my opinion. You have a couple of pros' opinions. What are your thoughts? That's the question. Here are actually the results from the polls that were posted by Ryan. As you can see, the majority are going towards it being a good idea. But the polls are not over yet. If you would like to go vote and chime in, it's linked down in the description. I highly recommend you go give your opinion to Ryan. You go vote and let your voice be heard. Otherwise, you can leave a comment down below. I will read all the comments and we can go back and forth and have a discussion. You can join Discord to come hang out with all of us. 
or I'll see you later on Twitch, twitch.tv slash games. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I did cut off some information to keep it shorter instead of wasting a ton of your day, but there will be more videos coming out soon. Have a great day, everyone.